Hey everybody, hey guys doing out there today, uh, welcome back to another episode of Halloween at the Manor. So this is going to be our haunt update video number five. I did work on two things this week. Uh, one was a new project and one was an uh, kind of an improving or updating a project that I've already showed you. Um, I'm not going to lie, it was kind of a slow week here. Uh, I didn't get too much done, but the two things that I did get done, uh, I think they are, they're going to be needed or were needed for the, uh, the haunt coming up here in the next six to eight weeks. So um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I worked on and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, why don't we go ahead and I'll show you guys what I did and uh, let's get going. All right, guys. So another project that I'm going to be uh, working on this week, I'm actually starting it today is... Um, I'm sure most of you know by now that um, the theme for this year's Spirit Halloween is also a carnival, and that was just kind of a, uh, a happy accident. But uh, anyway, uh, I really liked, uh, this is the Spirit Halloween's Welcome to the Carnival sign. I printed it out, and uh, I really, really like this design a lot. So what I'm doing now is I'm in the process of trying to replicate it on this sheet of a one and a half inch plywood. Um, so this right now is five and a half feet long and four feet wide, but uh, I'm not gonna go to four feet. This will probably end up being somewhere between like uh, three feet and 30 inches when it's all said and done by five and a half feet. So uh, basically I just have this uh, right now where I'm kind of like laying out the letters, uh, trying to uh, make sure everything kind of gets um, lined up here. And uh, my thought is, is that when uh, we put this out in the yard, um, Probably gonna put it maybe right in front of the uh, the tree here, so that's like kind of front and center. So when people walk by or drive by, it'll be right there that just says, welcome to the carnival. So that's something that I'm working on right now. And uh, I'll give you guys some more progress as I uh, as I start to, uh, to move along here. All right guys, so uh, I'm sorry, it might be a little bit hard to see this because this is in pencil, but um, I did get the uh, the sign drawn out here on the plywood and um, I'm pretty happy with all the spacing and everything. Uh, now it's just going to be a matter of, uh, I kind of have to go through, I have to make a couple of little tweaks and then I can start painting this. Um, the only problem is, is uh, my jigsaw actually broke and I had to uh, send it off to uh, Ryobi to get them to fix it. So uh, I have no idea when this is going to actually get cut out, but I mean, we don't need it for another couple of months, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, but I will start painting it this week. Uh, probably even start painting it today. I do have uh, I do have some time. So uh, overall, I'm happy with the way this looks. I think it looks pretty cool. And once we start to paint it, I think it's really going to look good. Uh, I am going to try to paint it as close as possible to what um, the spirit sign actually looks like. But I might have to kind of take some liberties with it. All right, guys. So uh, I think I'm going to call it a night tonight. Uh, I kind of got um, I got the uh, all of the uh, the letters. Um, Around the letters, I put this um, this like light blue color. I think it's called pool blue. And then uh, in the uh, the words, and then around the sign, I use the um, the golden sunset again. It's the same thing that I've been using on on a lot of the projects here uh, that I've been doing. Um, I'm gonna let this dry overnight, and then uh, I gotta do some touch-ups uh, on the uh, on the pool blue again. Uh, then I'm gonna paint the uh, the bare wood um, different shades of red. So it's gonna be the, um, the dark red that I used on the, uh, the carnival cart cage and then uh, some, um, I, think it's, I think I have like a bright red or um, a fire red. So it's just gonna be different shades of, of red going down here. Uh, then once that's done, then I'll do some, some more touch-ups here and there. But um, overall, I think this looks pretty cool and um, really gonna be curious to see what this looks like uh, with the, uh, the different shades of red on there. All right, guys, quick update on the sign. Uh, I got all of the uh, bright red stripes in, and the uh, next thing I'm gonna do is start to uh, paint in the darker red stripes. So basically any of the, uh, the bare wood here will be a darker red. And then once I have that done, it'll be uh, just kind of have to uh, start touching this thing up and uh, make it look nicer. All right, guys, so here is the spirit sign and uh, Here's my sign right here. So uh, I think this looks pretty close to the uh, the spirit sign. Uh, I do want to uh, do a couple more things to this. Um, I may experiment with a white paint marker. Um, 
in this spirit one here, um, it's kind of like, it goes like yellow and then it's like the yellow is has like a white outline and then the blue. Whereas in here it's just gold and then the, then the, uh, the blue. Uh, I might get a paint marker to see if I can kind of go like inside the blue with white. Uh, maybe try that and see what it looks like. But um, if I don't do that, this thing looks pretty good as it is. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the only thing I'll do now is um, if that doesn't work, I'll probably go over it with some of the areas with a, a black paint marker, just trying to uh, kind of touch some things up. All right, guys, a quick update here on the sign. Um, it's been a few days since I, uh, I last uh, shot any video on this, but um, what I ended up doing was is I ended up taking a black paint marker and going over all of the letters, going on the outside of all the letters, with the black and then inside the letters where the blue is I went with a white paint marker to give it that black blue white gold look uh, that's how the uh, the spirit Halloween sign looks like now I did like I said take a liberty and I did put a star this little four-sided I'll call it a star on the uh, the C and the L here on the carnival and um, I also, I didn't quite paint the welcome to the, exactly like the, um, the spirit sign either. I basically just painted this gold, outlined the letters black, and then inside I used again the, uh, the white paint marker just to kind of make it stand out a little bit. So that's kind of uh, what I'm doing with the sign, kind of where I'm at right now. I do have a few ideas for this. Um, I'm thinking about maybe, maybe running globe lights around the whole thing. Um, I do really like the way it looks now and I'm not sure if it needs the globe lights because more than likely when it's out in the yard, we're gonna have LEDs all over it. So I don't know if it really needs the globe lights, but that's one thing I'm thinking about doing. Uh, the other thing too is, is that when we put this in the ground, uh, like everything we do, We'll probably run some PVC here and probably here. And um, I was thinking if I extend the PVC up, I might put like a skull here and one here too, um, kind of like that. I think that might kind of look cool. I don't know, I guess we'll just kind of have to play around with it. But uh, unfortunately for now, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, my jigsaw broke, so I can't really cut this out. So this is kind of where I'm at now with the carnival sign. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, I did make some improvements to the uh, carnival cage cart thing. Um, I added, I believe it's called filigree. <laughs> I don't know if that's correct or not, but uh, I added some of this. Uh, I drew this filigree on here, um, on the sides here, and uh, I think it looks a little bit better. So I'm kind of glad I did it. I originally wasn't going to, but now I'm kind of glad that I did. Um, I also made behind me here, these are um, two walls that are gonna be going off of this. So these two walls will, I'll connect these uh, back here to this, um, this two by two. And uh, basically it'll have, this thing will be enclo enclosed. Uh, these walls are three feet wide and 78 inches tall. And I just painted them all black. So. Um, they are going to go on here. Um, I'm not going to put a hard roof on this. I'm probably just going to use um, like canvas drop cloth, probably cover the roof and let it droop down over the back. And then like the kids can come in the back here and, and this will basically just be all enclosed. Um, I'm not sure if I would run like some globe lights inside of this to kind of light this whole thing up or what. But, um, you know, I, I guess it's, we're just not at that point yet. Anyway, I, I think I'm just going to do it for this video here. Um, like I said, this, this week, this last week, 10 days, uh, hasn't really been all that exciting. Um, this is basically all that I've kind of done. Uh, the sign, this, and then the, uh, the walls here. So, um, uh, unfortunately, I know things will, uh, will pick up here in the next few weeks. But uh, this is kind of what I've been working on the last couple of days. So, anyway... I really want to thank you guys a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry if this video got a little bit long. Uh, I really hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care, and uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.